no pego saco, güey. Y me disculpo, ¿eh? Eso me molesta porque yo me pongo mal, mira, yo me pongo mal y me voy a poner. Me molesta que lo hagan por eso. So yes, I got pulled over for speed. But why nobody tell me this? From that strip right there by the Los Americas, right there where you pay your toll at in Santo Domingo, from there to Punta Cana, the police don't play. On that strip, they got radar guns everywhere. I mean, everywhere, across the street, it, it don't matter. All up in the bushes, they got radar guns coming down the hill and everybody, mm -hmm. all the Dominican police are on that strip with laser guns and, and it felt felt like I was at laser tag at Dave and Buster. So what's your point, Coach John? My point is the same rules don't apply in the Dominican Republic. They really are doing their job in the Dominican Republic on that strip headed to Punta Cana. Ain't nobody told me nothing. <laughs> All right, here it is, step by step, how it happened, because I know y'all want to know what happened and how it happened. So we on the interstate. We just paid our toll. We're probably 10, 15 minutes down the road. Uh, we cross a hill, and then I look, you know, because I always got people selling stuff on the side of the road. So I looked, and it looked like somebody had something in their hand. They was hiding behind the bushes, and it looked like he was selling starfish or something. I, I didn't know what the heck it was. I don't but he was holding a radar gun behind the bushes. And I was like, okay. But I kept going. And then all I see is somebody, all I see is two people it's like, pull over, pull over, Damn. pull over. They got me. So everybody was looking at me and uh, Dominga looked at me kind of side-eyed like I told you to slow down. They asked for my driver's license and they asked for my passport. So I gave it to him, asked for insurance, gave it to him. Everything checked out just fine. So after that, they started writing the ticket. I don't even know if she had wrote something down, but it looked like she was getting ready to write something on the tablet or on, you know, you know, the ticket. I look like she was getting ready to write the ticket. So she stopped. And then I kind of looked at her and she looked at me and then she looked at Dominga and she told Dominga to get out the car. I was like, what? What's going on? So they went to the back of the car and I said, so what's going on? And so said, I don't know. They're just talking to my mom. I don't know. I said, well, you know, just tell me what's going so on. So Dominga came back and then Dominga, I gave, Dominga was asking for some money and I gave her 2,000 pesos. And so she put the 2,000 pesos in her pocket. And then she went back to the back with the police officers. And then she was just negotiating and talking. I was like, so what they talking about? So what they talking about? You know, I just heard them talking about 2,000 those mil, um, uh, thousand pesos. I just heard, you know, I just heard the numbers. And, you know, I, of course I can pick up a little Spanish. I just heard the numbers. You know, Dominicans talk so damn fast. So I said, so what they talking about? And then she's like, I'm trying to, you know, I'm listening, I'm listening. And then I said, so what they talking about? And so like to cuss people out, but she does it in a professional way. She's like, Coach John, if you be quiet, I can understand what they talking about. And then I can, tell you what they talking about so don't cuss me out in a nice way shut so anyway so 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 finally got it together she told me she said looks like they're negotiating looks like looks like my mom is negotiating she's negotiating the price and i said oh that's good so here comes Dominga. Dominga comes back and Dominga asked for 500 pesos so, but I said, like, I already gave you 2,000 pesos. So, Dominga had the 2,000 pesos in her so, pocket. My baby's a good negotiator. She uh, she talked him down from 2,000 pesos to 500 pesos a piece. Wait a minute. Where's the 2,000 that I gave Dominga? Y'all enjoy the extra videos for the week. God bless, make peace be still. I gotta call Dominga. She kept that damn 2,000. Bye. So anyway, I know some people are gonna ask me, it's like, am I mad? Am I gonna knock them for, for doing what they did? No, I ain't gonna knock them, that's their job. And plus, hey, that ain't none of my business. You know, they write me a ticket, I got I had to pay what I had to pay, what, $40, that's 2,000 pesos. What they, they put it in their pocket, they bought some Sancocho or bought some Pico Pollo later on foot, that's fine, that's, that's on them. I don't have nothing to do with that. I ain't mad, that ain't none of my business. I love the Dominican Republic. It is what it is. Hey, you got you got crap going on in the United States. So it don't bother me at all. I shouldn't have been speeding. I should have not been speeding. Period. 
I wouldn't have had to pay nothing if I wasn't speeding. So, hey, they did their job. They did what they do. I don't care what they did. I don't care if they, they bought some president days with the money. I don't care. It's a donation, whatever it is. I'm happy. We had a good time. Make peace be still. There's my answer.